Biding time, biding time. He's going to tuck in and run it, right? Nope. He throws to Dez Bryant in the end zone for the touchdown. And how does Dez celebrate? I mean, it's been a minute. Oh, yeah, he dropped the X on him. His first receiving touchdown since December of 2017. Yeah, I feel you. Drop that X. He and John Harbaugh, nice little hug there. Ravens will take a big lead at the break. And then here, Lamar into the end zone. 243 passing yards, four touchdowns for Lamar Jackson. The Ravens win it in a blowout, 40-14. to 14. They were hyped to win and for death. Commend our offensive coaches and our players. Uh, we have a, a clear vision of what we want to try to do. And then, you know, the, the key is executing it, you know, and doing things the right way at a high level. So we've had a chance to practice. We've just got to keep getting better. We've just been bonding with each other a lot more, you know, um, ever since I came back from the COVID and stuff like that when we were on the field. And uh, our guys just been, you know, focused. And that's what it's just showing out there on the field. I had to hold back my tears, you know, because... Like I said, um, it was a, it was very emotional. Like I said, that love is real. <laughs> like, I'm not joking when I say that. You know, these guys here, they are 100. They are amazing. You know, the special thing about me throwing up the X, you know, the meaning is the X out negative, you know, to, to, to truly never give up, to beat the odds, to destroy adversity. I felt like, um, you know, everything we were doing, they had an answer for it. Um, I thought they played really well, and uh, we didn't execute uh, consistently enough in the first half. You know, November was uh, a very challenging month for Baltimore, to say the least. Of course, you had the COVID-19 outbreak. Lamar Jackson missed time. Their offense was kind of suffering. But the last three games, now granted, it helped when you play two of those against the Jags and the Cowboys. The Ravens have found their footing, scoring nearly 40 points per game and being the most efficient offense in the league, according to ESPN's FPI out there and that right there is an accomplishment as far as I'm concerned fair catch call 44 yard punt for Sanchez but here gets another one bounce end up rolling inside the 20 yard line 47 yard punt there two punts on the day totaling 91 yards but again just good to see him back on the field throughout the process there were so many people that reached out and I'm just grateful for everybody, really, um, to be able to go out there with my teammates today. Um, it's a huge blessing, and I love being around them. I love uh, being around the coaches, uh, you know, all the players, the fans out here. I mean, it was just a big blessing to be out here this fast, and uh, I'm just like, really excited and blessed. Honestly, it was amazing how much support I felt in the building today, and uh, I'm just blessed beyond anything to just be out there and. Uh, be able to play the, the sport I love to play. So it's blessed. All right, that was the best story from the game. How about the game itself? Deshaun Watson trying to lead the Texans to a win on the road fourth quarter. They're down seven. Watson to Kiki Cutie. Nine yard touchdown there. Ties the game at 20 all. How would the Colts respond? Phillip Rivers looking for Zach Paschal. Got him. And his second touchdown of the day, Colts take a seven-point lead with less than two to play. 28 seconds remaining. Fourth and five for the Texans. Watson to Cutie. Breaks the tackle, but Darius Leonard forces the fumble at the goal line. And the Colts end up recovering. How about that play to punch it out? And there's your ball game. 27-20 was the final. What I'm most excited about is you know in the fourth quarter of that game when the game is on the line is that we made plays in all three phases we make a 53 yard field goal in the fourth quarter we have a long game winning drive uh, to go up uh, in the fourth quarter and then we get the defensive stop on the last drive that that's what that's what playing december football um that's meaningful that's what it takes to continue to build the DNA and, and who we are and where we believe we're going. I feel bad for them, just like I feel bad for myself, you know, in the organization because we didn't win, because we're in a win or lose business. But I told them that the way that they fought, because we talked about it the night before, of, of playing every play and, and putting plays behind us and then playing the next play. And I thought that they did that today. They came out and they fought and they kept playing and we had a chance to win. 
All right, Derrick Henry and the Titans looking for their first 10 win season since 2008, posting the Lions second quarter. Tennessee up 14 7. Henry, who's got a better stiff arm than Derrick Henry? Well, I think Alexander Myers would vote for nobody. Henry, 24 carries, 147 yards. More on him in a moment. Later in that same drive, Ryan Tannehill. I mean, he's not the runner Derrick Henry is, but, I mean, he can go 17 yards for the touchdown, right? Of course he can. Tannehill, five combined touchdowns, most in a single game of his career. Titans win at 46-25. You appreciate today. You appreciate the win, but uh, 10 wins means nothing. Um, you know, we have, have bigger goals than that. Uh, we just want to find a way to, to end each week 1-0. So we did that this week. We are successful. Now we have to find a way to do that next week. The other thing for us is just um... – Tunnel vision, um, focus on what's at hand and not get too caught up in what, everything else going on. What we need to do as a team to, you know, be better on all three phases and go out there and win on Sunday. I mean, you can't control all the outside stuff, just control what we can control. And that's how we play together um, in all three phases. Our guys are fighting tooth and nail. We're down some guys and we know that. Um, but. Uh, we knew it was going to be – that's a really talented offense. You know, they've got um, one of the best backs in the league, a quarterback playing at a really high level and some really talented guys on the outside. We knew we were going to have to score points. Um, and we just, you know, got close too many times. You know, turned it over and, and that hurt us. All right, I mentioned Derek Henry. Uh, his nickname is King. And if anyone deserves to wear a crown right now, it's him. Of course, he won the rushing title last year. His first rushing score on Sunday, he became just the fourth player in NFL history with at least 15 rushing yards.